My name is Alex Barker, founder of the Happy Farm D, where we help pharmacists get jobs they love in six months. And today I am going to have lots of fun with Stephanie Thompson. She's going to be sharing her story of how she came from federally qualified health center history and a few other places as well, and where she's at now in 340B and how she's loving it and how she discovered that path. We're going to be going into some things today and I would love for to hear your story with whatever career journey you're on. But if you'd like to talk with us, we are actually starting next week to be doing uh, one hour classes, Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. It is called Offer in Six. It's about how to get a job offer that you want in less than six months. We're specializing right now in remote and pharma. We have three action steps and a bunch of other cool tips for you to learn in this workshop. You can go to the calendar here to see when we are. I'd love to hang out with you. It's live, it's interactive. Right now, I only get to see you guys in the comments, so that's okay. But I'm gonna ma be mainly hanging out with Stephanie today. And so you can do that by going to that link. You'll answer a few questions just to make sure that we're a right fit for you and that we can help you. And then there'll be a calendar after those questions. So with that out of the way, I would love to dive into Stephanie's story so that you can learn some lessons about what it's like working with a career coach, what it's like looking at the job market. Maybe you can relate to some of the things that Stephanie did before working with us and hopefully have you know a good time. So I work for a company called Proxis RX. So uh, they help hospitals and uh, large facility facilities, smaller facilities, open retail outpatient community pharmacies. Uh, I am attached to a critical access hospital in La Chira, Louisiana. We opened June 26th as a brand new pharmacy and there was a huge need for the community to have this community pharmacy. Uh, with Winn-Dixie's closing and the temperature and in independent pharmacy, this was just a huge need for the community. And uh, throughout this process, it just guided me to something I'm happy to go to work to every day. I was all over the place. I think I applied to anything that looked appealing. Mm. I was probably in 30 different industries. And honestly, I, this was not the position I had in my head when I started. I've had mentors throughout my entire pharmacy career. I, I had a leader who told me, always have a mentor, always have someone that you have in your back pocket that is your biggest cheerleader that will try to set you straight when you need to. So I've always had that to some extent, but a coach is completely different, <laughs> um, which I thought they were very similar in the same thing. Uh, my coach was definitely awesome to work with. Uh, she told me what I needed to hear, but also pushed me way out of my comfort zone, which I think is a reason I was so successful. Um, and I was a hundred percent in it to win it with the process. So I may have made her job a little easier in that situation. Um, but she was the best to work with. Uh, we did 6 a.m. phone calls, which worked with both of our schedules. Um, it was, you know, it was just a very good experience. And she would definitely give me the feedback that was needed. <sighs> My coach, you know, she did small changes. So it wasn't like I had to go to zero from 100, like, to 124 hours, you know, it was small, manageable goals. 
Mm-hmm. And, you know, I would say, well, I can reach out to two people a week. And she would be like, you can do five. And my competitive nature was like, okay, I can do five. Great, okay. Um, and then I would end up doing like six or seven. And for whatever it was, but it was just like small little pushes that really pushed the needle and got me where I wanted to go. Thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. Thank you for your involvement. And Stephanie, again, thank you for your time tonight. Have a great Thursday and a wonderful weekend upcoming. All right. Good night, everyone.